Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Juliana and in today's video I'm going to talk about and I'm going to show you my November wrap up. So in these videos at the end of the month I usually show you the book that I read through that said month or that I finished in that month, the books that I'm currently reading and then I talk about the movies and series that I've been watching throughout the month. So, beginning with the books that I read, I only finished one and that is uh, what I talk about when I talk about running by Aruki Murakami. I'm thinking of doing, I'm thinking of, I know that I'm going to do a video about this book because this is my uh, July, June or July, now I'm not sure, books, um, book for that challenge, 12 books for 12 months of 2022. And so, yes, I'm late, I know I can fix it by this point, so I'm only uh, able to launch these videos in December if everything goes right I'm going to launch every book of that challenge that is still missing throughout the month of December uh, maybe not in order because some of them are more voluminous than others but I'm, I'm going to try to um, uh, upload the books of that challenge in the month of December so I can be finished with that challenge still in this year so everything is if everything goes right everything will be on point and on time late but on time you know what I mean so yeah so I love this book this is Aruki Murakami so this is a memoirs book it's not an autobiography. This is non-fiction, as uh, you could understand by now. But this is him talking about his love for running and the that sport and how running came late to his life. So he only begins he he only begins running when he was 33 years old. So that's a bit, he's still young, of course, but a bit late. He participated in marathons. He, he, he also did triathlon. So he's an inspiration, to say the least. Uh, and this book is really interesting to read in, in terms that you, well, I'm not a runner and I hate running so I can say that I identified with the author when he was talking about running but I can understand where he's coming from it's beautiful to see the passion with which he talks about running and how running changed his life so really inspiring and really motivational I mean an inspiration really so I really advise you to read these books, but please wait for my video to come out. If everything goes right, I'll be able to post the video this Wednesday, next Wednesday. So that will be 7, 7 of December. And I'll be talking about, about this book uh, with more depth. And I'll be, with, I'll be talking about with more details about what Murakami talks in here and my ideas and what I took from this book. So I hope you will watch it. So this was the only book that I read and for the books that I'm currently reading. I'm not going to elongate about this one so 
I'm still reading the Budenbrook by Thomas Mann still so I'm not even in half I, I have to be truthful I didn't pick this up in November I wasn't feeling it you know I can't explain it it's it's laziness but is uh, procra procrastination and well I wasn't feeling it I I was loving so much what I talk about when I talk about running by Murakami that I only read that one and I left this one on standby so I have to pick this up in December so I can be able to do a, a review video about it but not it's not because I was not enjoying it but for some reason I wasn't feeling it like reading it so there you go and then the other one that I pick up was New York Trilogy by Paul Oster right? yeah uh, so I only read like one page of this one because well laziness and I was um, telling myself that I have to start this book I have to start but I never did like actually but I have to do it this month so I can also do a video about it because this is also part of my challenge 12 books for 2022 so I have to do a video about this so I have to read it and now about movies and series so I didn't watch any movies this month or the month the month of November um, but I watched a series and that was season 2 of Young Royals if I'm not mistaken this is a Sweden right I think it is a Sweden series uh, and this is like about a young prince so he's part of the royal family right and he's the youngest uh, and he is put so in the first season he gets in a fight in a club and so his family decides that he has to do to he has to go to like an intern uh, school so he can gra graduate there because that was the, the tradition of the family but uh, as he was the youngest he asked his family to go to a normal school and they allowed it but we don't see that in the first season we just see the fight and then he's going he's going to the intern school but he didn't want to go but, th but there he meets a boy that he's uh, um, a son of immigrants so he's Latino and he they fell in love and something happens in the first season where a supposed friend does something to them which well gives a bit of trouble to them both and in the second season we see the prince uh, so there is um, a summer gap so the summer vacation and so in the second season we see them coming back to school so it's the beginning of the year and uh, of a new year right uh, a school year um, and uh, we see them both like separated the the prince and the um, the boy that I'm talking about um, because that sad thing that happened uh, and then well the story of the second season it's all about them both and how they are separated and how they are talking to other people like what am I going to do I still like him like 
um, what should I do, and so on and so forth. And so it's all about the romance of them. And so I felt it was a bit um, stagnated in that. I hope I'm explaining myself well. I'm not saying that I didn't like it. That's not it. I, I enjoyed the series, the second season. But I thought that it could have... Um, well... It does, right? Well, it talks about other things. Because there's a storyline of se secondary characters that happens. Um, that... Well, it... it he talks about friendship and what does it mean to cross the boundaries between friends because uh, there happens a romance uh, between secondary characters that is like a forbidden romance and that's all about the boundaries between friendships and so that part is interesting but I thought that the storyline of the second season um, was so much about the the prince and the boy like why they are not together or why they cannot be together at that point and the storyline of the other uh, secondary characters rolls on about them both you know so I thought that the series focuses too much on them, although they are the protagonists. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm making sense, but that's how I feel. So I enjoyed it, but I, like, in the middle of the series, I was like, really, that's, that's only it? This is going to be this till the end? Like... There's nothing, there's no other stories to be talked about, nor, nor other storylines to be followed, like, or like other subjects. It's all about them both, them too, you know. Uh, so, yeah, but I still advise you to watch it. I think it's a really entertaining series. It and if you want to do to see or to watch something that's a bit um, different from the usual heterosexual romance, I think that's a good choice. And it's also a, a deviation of the American um, domination. So this is a Sweden production. So I think that is also a good point for you to watch this series. So yeah, go watch it. And that's it, because I didn't watch any series, any other series this month. And I didn't watch any movies, so it was a really dry month. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Don't forget to press the ring bell button to all so you can receive all my notifications. Leave a like, it helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And yeah, I see you on the next one. Bye!